economics, man. But anyway, if you walk back here, some pots we could break. And I... Nothing in here. So one of the things I'm going to do is, for the first few scenarios... So have you gotten have you guys, you know, thought of the Have you guys figured out the plot twist yet? Well, I won't spoil it just yet, but there is a plot twist there. It's pretty uh pretty obvious. Huh? An ancient hero of the village, Hanlon's Tower. So the big plot twist here is when we go back into the uh, when we use one of the the pedestals we actually go back in time and we're saving these village uh, let's see we want to give this to Kiefer oh this right here is annoying it's something that I absolutely detest about this game they like to rear anytime you have a, like a major uh, event they rearrange your party and they, they never <laughs> it's just very annoying they don't always do it, but they do it a lot. So, watch the uh, fragment detector there. You see how it's uh, gently pulsing? I like to think that these flowers were planted here in remembrance of Maeve, and that this is supposed to be like a statue of Maeve for some reason. Maybe. <clears throat> but now look at the fragment detector. It's going crazy. We'll get that fragment in a moment. I'm just going to go up here and talk to this NPC. Break and break. Anecdotal herb. That'll come in handy later on. We start finding enemies that can poison you. Uh, no, we want that stone. And we don't even have to pay. Free items are best items. Uh So basically, like I said, this is the general beat of the game going forward. We're going to complete a f uh, collect fragments, open a new area, complete the area, find any fragments in that area, come back to S come back to the shrine of mysteries, come outside, explore the new island, collect fragments from that island, and then go to a new location. Unlock a new location by doing that. You might also notice that this is no longer a forest. At least a location that we can go into. But this mine over here, though, we can go in here. Yep, we're the rain. This is the Rainbow Mines, and I am a. We'll see. We'll see. 
how far I am after this, but I... Th See, no other things in here. I'm pretty far below where my notes say I was at the end of this scenario. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, there are no monsters in here. And I... Th yeah, okay. It's the same exact map, almost, until you get to the bottom, I'm pretty sure. Handle with care. Let's see, there are barrels up here. Seed of magic, and nothing. in here. What do you got to say, man? <laughs> I can't find my way out. Because I'm an Egypt. Alright. How awful would it be to actually have to work with... Uh... Let's see, we actually need to do this. To work with stones that you that were like if you touched the same colored stones they like all of your work is just done. All right, uh, let's see. We want to do all right. We want to do this. And over. this. Sometimes he doesn't like to let go of the rock. Alright. And we're through. Alright. Um... Do we even have to do anything with this? Yes, we do. Okay. We need to reset this. I don't have all of these memorized. So... Well, I didn't mean to do that. Again, sometimes he snaps to the crystals and... Yeah. Just pushes them when I don't want him to. Alright, so we want to do that. You can't push any of the other ones. What am I expected to do here? Alright, we'll reset this one more time. push this, and we'll push this, alright, and then we'll push this. Alright, I got you. I see what we're supposed to do now. Alright. Got a slightly different... So we need a blue crystal. Alright. Pretty easy. Just go around here. Push this straight forward. I'm having flashbacks to... Uh, 
Oh, sh shoot. Oh, okay. My finger is slipping off the, uh... Nubbin? Control stick? Control nubbin? Just gonna use all my MP on... Frizz, I think. Um... You eat a frizz. And there's the buff spell. Let's go ahead and heal up. You're fine, though. Let's see. Here we have the way down. And now we have to... Hmm. I just want to go... I think all of these are empty except for the north one. Let me double check my notes. That is what my notes indeed say. But if you check the north one, you will find a red fragment. A red fragment. I can speak, I swear to God. Okay. So on my test play... I, at the end of this scenario, I had 1,006 gold. Let's see what I have at the end of this. Currently, I have 815. I have some stuff I can do to... Uh, help with uh, uh, budgeting. I don't really buy a whole lot in the next scenario... I have enough money for what I do buy currently. So. I'm also slightly lower level than I was at the end of my test play. So. We're not going to run into any more battles. Uh, does Maribel know Evac? Yes, she does. Since there's no fights or anything anywhere else uh, for reference at the end of my test play Oster was 6 and Kiefer and Maribel were 7 and I had 1006 gold sometimes the game is so fickle about like what it will and will not let you dock at too far away. The monster's on the... Uh... There we go. That's where I wanted to support. The monsters on the ocean give pretty good money, though. Alright, so we want to go here. <laughs> That's actually very interesting. Instead of being st stuck in a meeting talking about going to the island, I just got up and went to the island. You come in here and you speak to your Uncle Pike. Sure. Yes. So this right here is not something you have to do right now, but it does save you some time later. Like, it saves you a trip having to, like, backtrack. 
So I do recommend you get the uh, holy, holy water before you start the next scenario. Lower the drawbridge! Raise the drawbridge! Lower the drawbridge a little bit! Okie dokie! So we want to go over here? I guess we could be talking to the NPCs, right? I had this whole speech about how, like, you need to talk to the NPCs. It's a flavor, blah, blah, blah. It flavors the game. I do like this lady right here, though. She's like, uh... Is it her or another... There's, like, a, one of these, like, lady NPCs that is... Uh, super, like, just constantly, like, pining for the king. And she's like, oh, if only I could tell him how much I love him. Oh, I could... Yeah, I was talking about Dermot the Hermit. I would hate to live in a world where everybody's name rhymed or was some pun. Oh, that's a good point. But if you come over here... run into Dermot the Hermit. Yes, let us through, for we need to advance the plot. As you can see, there is another fragment in this castle that we must gather up and find. Not a load of nonsense. Yes, we did. For we must advance the plot. <laughs> yes, we do. Like, I, I would like to be on a fly on a wall for that con for like that self-reflection. I must hide this thing. Where will I hide it? I know. Somewhere only a person with a raft can get. Let me on the raft.
We're gonna go surfing, folk. Oh yeah. Oh, that's Batman. Um, let's see, I don't actually know any surfing tunes. Hmm. Anyway, we want to go over here first. Because if you come in this door right here, there is a pot, I do believe. It has a seed in it. We want to get... Because, I mean, we want to get as many seeds as possible. Of course, the real prize down here is... This red fragment right here. But I guess we'll pick it up while we're here. And that is the final fragment we need to start the next scenario. Let's talk to this NPC over here and go down these stairs first, though. These are the, uh, yes, I did. Uh, this is the jail cell, right? Yeah. <laughs> Poxy pots and pans. I like the really colorful language in this game. See, we want to get back the way we came. I do wish there was more you could do with the raft. It's like it's very weird to me that like they put this in mechanically, right? And like this is pretty much the only time you ever use this a raft. I think I can't think of any other situations. Dermot, you're a bro. <laughs> I'm not going to be any danger. I'm going to hide behind you. So, the next island that we're going to is going to be... It's going to be a tale for next time, I guess. But we got the holy, holy water. And that's pretty much... So I'm... I'm a little under-leveled. Not by much. Like I said, my final levels for my uh, test play were 6, 7, and 7. So I'm 6, 7, 6 right now. And I'm about... 15, 150 gold short of where I was, but let's see. It could be because I haven't. Let's see, everyone. Let's just pull every all non-essential items in the bag, and let's sell. Let's see if there's some stuff I can sell. I don't think there's much, if anything, I can sell, but we're gonna find out. Let's see. We want to keep those and that. Let's see, we're going to sell these. And... Okay. So right at 150 gold less. So that would have probably been the equivalent of four or five battles on the ocean. Probably. But we want to go... Let's go stay the night at the house in Pilchard Bay. And then we will save our game and call it quits for the evening. And next time, we're going to put these red fragments to use. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't know if... I mentioned this before. You can come back to Oster's house and sleep in his bed at any time for a free heal. So, 
so we're going to do that now. All three of us piled up in one bed. Well, I guess his mom's kind of angry with us. Whatever. That's a good idea, Maribel, and we're going to do that right now. Yes! Well, next time on Dragon Quest Seven, we're going to use our red fragments and go to the next aisle. I will see you folks then.